Hey everybody, um, I, I was going to say congratulations, <laughs> but hey, it's um, really good to see everybody. Uh, this is Two Funny Mamas, Sans Kim Whitley. We don't have her, we don't have Kim Whitley available, but we're still going to make it work. She was not able to, um, she was not able to make it. So it's just me today and I'm very, very thankful that you're tuning in. Um, Welcome to Two Funny Mamas. So, just trying to figure out what's going on today. Yeah, it's a good so, thing you're not stressed and not busy. So, that's a major plus, right? So stress. This is one of those days. I don't know if anybody ever has these days. And I'm sorry about my wig. If y'all can see the lace, I just, I took the glue off. And it's the only wig I had. And it, it I threw one on. So if you see the lace, you don't have to say share your lace is showing because I already know it's showing. It's, the wig is sliding off my head. It's just been a, it's a, a lot going on because I have been I'm packing, uh, you know, at the same time because I have to leave to go and do uh, the Star Dome Comedy Club in Birmingham, Alabama, April fourth and fifth. I have to do I'm doing Celebrity Family Feud on I believe April 7th, I am, yeah, those are my dates. Oh my gosh, if anybody, if you know anybody that lives in Birmingham, Alabama or a surrounding area, please tell them to grab some tickets to the Star Dome Comedy Club. I'm doing stand up. You can go to sherryshowtv.com for tickets and I'll be in Baltimore at the Baltimore Comedy Factory, April 12th and 13th. And we're praying for all of the people in Baltimore with this whole bridge falling situation, um, absolutely Terrible. surreal. It's at, it's just, you look at these bridges and you think there's nothing that could possibly make this bridge fall. We go over the bridge all the time, going to Brooklyn and going to New Jersey. I know you guys have bridges in St. Louis, Chris, but. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, yeah. You see a lot of that too, going over into Illinois and then on the other side of, uh, of St. Louis on the west side as well. You got the Missouri River, you got that. So I've definitely, ever since I was a kid, like a young kid, for some reason have definitely been uh, intimidated by the bridge situation. I have to say I'm the opposite. I never have because I trust that everybody's taking care of those joists, the joints, the screws. You know, they have a whole team for keeping the bridge. I guess this is why Obama wanted um, was so into infrastructure infrastructure yeah. because that is the infrastructure and and i just i guess i assume that all of that was maintained you would you would wish <laughs> you'd wish that i'm not laughing like what a terrible thing in baltimore that was a freak accident it looks like with the barge hitting and everything but yeah just in general anytime there's uh bridges and stuff like there's so much work that goes into making sure those are able to be even be used so really thinking about everybody yeah. in baltimore and i'll be there next week for a project and then i know you're going to be there in a couple of weeks and boy just what a terrible thing to see yeah it's just like to make people laugh a barge hit it is that what happened yeah it was and they actually i guess they gave them a heads up because they lost power and it allowed workers to stop more people from entering the bridge this is what i read i don't know how accurate this is but yeah. yeah, it appears that, you know, that actually saved some lives and workers were heroic and, and stepped up and stopped people from driving onto the bridge. And yeah, that lost power. And I guess it uh, careened off into that. Uh, like, I don't know if you saw the video, but it looks it looks like something out of out of a movie or a Batman action sequence or something. It's so just wild to see and terrible. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, um, how do you segue back into funny from that? Well, uh, that if you know somebody who's in Baltimore that needs to laugh, come to the Baltimore Comedy Factory, April 12th and 13th. I'll be in Baltimore with uh, Special K from the Ricky Smiley Show. And um, am I bringing somebody to Baltimore with me? I don't know. Definitely Special K and me. And uh, we're going to have some fun. 
So yeah. that those things. But the packing, because we're going to do Celebrity Family Feud. Uh, it'll be the Cherry Show. And then I have to do press, like Jimmy Kimmel and the talk. I think I'm doing Jennifer Hudson. So, oh gosh. I got to do more stand-up in L.A. So it's just, it's a crazy, it's a lot. What's uh, what's the L.A. performance? It's just st get my stuff together. Oh, nice. You're just going to go do something, you're going to show up at the Laugh Factory? What's, uh, what's the plan yeah. or can you say? No, no, I'm just going to show up at the Laugh Factory. I'm going to show up at the Laugh Factory. I wanted to send you something that I'm going to show up at the Laugh Factory and... Um, Hold on, let me let me get this for you because I want you to show it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna show up at the comedy store in the Laugh Factory, and ask to go on, and then work on some material. That's the best part about I'm I'm familiar with L.A. way more than New York, but that's super fun and in LA especially like if you just know if you have a friend that happens to be just working out material and I'll just say and obviously Laugh Factory and Comedy Store like oh that's fun those are the big ones obviously but that's fun where you could just drop in on that and Sherry Shepard's your special guest you didn't even know you'd get to see but then oh. also there's also random shows in like Studio City where if you Sherry Shepard need to work material out all of a sudden there's yeah. 17 people in a bar in Studio City on a Tuesday night and they're like, and then Sherry Shepard walked in. I love that part about LA. Yeah, because you never know. You never know who's gonna walk in. Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever been bumped by anyone that was uh, super special? Legendary, uh, I believe Eddie Griffin used to, <laughs> to show up at the comedy store and, uh, and bump folks and you know do an hour and a half just casually. And the thing about, I sent you a video that Tyler Perry made for me. Um, and the thing about- I'm sorry, who? Tyler Perry. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's pretty cool. You know, the thing about, um, I'll go back into Tyler Perry. The thing about like LA, yeah, people just drop in and do sets and stuff. Um, I've never had anybody bump me. I remember in New York, I wanted to go, I was supposed to go up at a comedy club and I needed to get up and get back to New Jersey where I lived. And that was like a 30 minute drive to get back home. So I'm like, literally was supposed to be going up. And then all of a sudden you can hear Chris Rock, Chris Rock, Chris Rock. And I go, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Because when somebody like Chris Rock or Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah. Bump you, they're gonna be up on stage for the next two hours. Well, Chris Three. Rock walks in and he's got you know, he's going to be hosting the Oscars or he's going to be, hey, he, he has a giant material. thing. So, and he's got 12 writers that walk in and they're not hanging out for seven minutes. They're going to get some work in. Yeah, they're going to get some work in. This is like Chris Rock is now going to work. This is a nine to five in your friggin' 12 minute spot. And, um, and I just heard Chris Rock, Chris Rock. And I was just like, oh man. And so the one, I think it was the manager. You just, this is why it it pays to be nice to people to be kind to people so the manager who really liked me told chris he said sherry shepherd is here and i heard him go sherry shepherd is here and the manager said she just wants to do a little bit of time but she's got to get back home to jersey so chris goes let her go up so i went up and i did and i was like now i can't work on new material yeah chris yeah you Rock can't yeah <laughs> You can't leave that out there. Yeah, I, I can't do nothing right. So um, I did about, I don't know, might not have been 10, maybe eight minutes, maybe 10, I don't remember. But I did my best material and I killed it. And because of that, I got this phone call to audition for Top 5. Very nice. That literally direct effect. There. Very cool. Yes. And I got it. And Chris said, I saw you at the comedy club. You're really funny. Wow. And I said, so I didn't have to audition for this? He was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I go, where did, I, where did the miscommunication come in? But I auditioned for it. And I got the part playing his ex-girlfriend who lived in the projects in New York. And, um, and not Zoe Saldana. It was an actor. I can't remember who the other actress was. But really great. Gabrielle Union, J.B. Smooth. 
Cedric the Entertainer, Bruce Bruce. It was like all these comics. It was great. So, um, yeah, but that was probably last time I got bumped was Chris Rock. But when Rosario, I was starting Rosario out, Dawson, Rosario Kevin Hart, J.B. Smoove, Romani Malco, uh, Romani Anders Malco, Holm, oh people would recognize, Carly Red, oh Kevin Barnett. Yeah, Kevin there's, Hart was in Kevin, it says Kevin Hart was in it. Gabrielle Union, J.B. Smoove. Where the hell are you? Let's see. All cast and crew. What do you mean? Where's our, I'm in it too. <laughs> I'm looking at the IMDb and you didn't pop up up top. Uh, Brian, Re Brian Regan's in it. You know who Brian Regan is? Michael Che. Uh, yes, I know Brian Regan. Yes, Sherry Shepard. Michael. You played Vanessa. Jay Farrow, Definitely. Tracy Morgan, Hassan Johnson, Leslie Jones, Tachina yes, Arnold. Jones. This is hilarious. Have you, did you ever see Top 5? It's really good. Luis Guzman, Rachel Feinstein? Yes. This is like every. Um, th this is like he walked into uh, the cellar and was like, who wants to be in a movie? <laughs> everybody, every comic was in it. It was great. Um, I had a really great scene with Rosario Dawson. And we were in the projects and it was infested with roaches. And Ugh. so right in the middle of my scene with Rosario Dawson, where I was telling her how I dated, you know, Chris and I were engaged, but we broke up. Uh, a roach crawled on the wall. I took my hand and killed that damn roach with my hand because I was like, I'll be damned if you mess up my scene with Rosario Dawson. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. So that came from him almost bumping me. And That's uh, wild. Yeah, it was a really good movie. And then uh, when, I first, when I first started doing stand-up comedy, struggling, I got bumped by Marlon and Sean. I got there at frigging <laughs> 7 o'clock. Mm. By the time at midnight, Sean was still up talking. And I didn't have any money to take the bus home. I was hitching a ride. Don't do this, folks. Yeah. And so I had to hitch a ride back home because the bus had stopped running anyway. That was not fun. God loves me because when I tell you how many times I filmed a ride home, because <laughs> I would always miss the bus. Coming from the comedy clubs, the buses will stop running. But don't do this, folks. Right. No, yeah, that makes sense. Well, not, not, that wouldn't be good. Since you, since you have been favored and not, uh, not bothered, I wanted to actually tell you about this. I got an email, and you inspired someone. This is actually really cool. Um, here's the photo of you and this person, this gentleman. It's in um, my hair room, my wig room. Yeah, so very nice email. And this is what it's all about. Like this is, if people ever wonder what kind of person Sherry is, here you go. So here's an email and this is from William Spetz. My name's William Spetz uh, and I'm a 27 year old actor and screenwriter from Stockholm, Sweden. Last spring, Miss oh. Shepard saw me in the audience of her show, and her assistant Edie took me backstage with her. There, I told her how Two Funny Mamas podcast and her show inspired me and gave me so much joy during this intense, the most intense period of my life, shooting and doing my first lead role in the new Netflix series. I believe it's Tor, T O R E, and uh, and Tor is coming out. I guess the drama since then, the dramedy series Tor was launched globally on Netflix and is now nominated for a GLAAD Award as Best Outstanding New Series. At the ceremony oh, wow. that's held in New York in May, and uh, and I believe William's going to be visiting out there. But either way, uh, I've since the show launched has an agency now. It says thanks for all the hard work on Two Funny Mamas. Love the chemistry between you and Kim, and even a compliment to old Chris here. So shout out to uh, to William Sherry. That's a shout out to you too. I loved hearing about that. And at first, I emailed back. I was like, Are you sure you mean Sherry Shepard? And then uh, <laughs> we sorted it. The picture was proof, so I couldn't, I couldn't uh, throw shade at. Wow, you that's anymore. very cool. Thank you and congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Check it out if you can. T O R E tour. Yeah, that is really great. Congratulations. Nice. Uh, shout out to everybody tuned in at this surprise live. If you're just uh, jumping on, Sherry has a tiny bit of time before she flies out. She's got live comedy dates coming up. She was gracious <sighs> enough to say, hey, let's get this in. Kim has a lot going on. Let's make sure that uh, the fans get to say hello. So shout out to Lowner J, Irina, Don Brown, Jay Seabury, PR Jade, It's Veronica J, 
all these nice people. MM is here, Sean Powell, Ms. Mel, Veronica Williams, all these wonderful people tuned in on the live chat. Make sure you share the stream and make sure you're subscribed. We got to march to 100,000 subscribers and we're going to make that happen. Um, Sherry, I did. Did I get the email? What did you send me? Did you want to show something? Oh, a video from uh, from Mr. Mr. Perry. Do you want me to fire? What that about Mr. Oh, Rodney Perry? Tyler Perry. Oh, Tyler Perry. Did you yes. get the video? Yeah, I've got it. You want? It's about a minute Tyler long. Perry, Tyler Perry came to. Um, oh, I got so many. I didn't make any money on the city winery gig. I got so many dang on expenses. Um, Tyler <laughs> well, Perry. You're not supposed to drink up what they pay you with, okay, Sherry? Well, I'll let everybody in for free. That's what it was. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> I just, I'll just give away tickets. I know so many people in Atlanta. And you know, oh, you can, yeah. You yeah let people tough. in for free, they got to bring somebody. So everybody had a guess. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. Um, Yeah, so but it was good. But Tyler Perry, I asked him because he lives in Atlanta. I said, Tyler, I'm doing some stand-up. Would you like to come? And he said, you know, I just got off a plane. I got my son. So I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to make it. I said, okay. Next thing I know, Tyler Perry was there. His security was sweeping the club and everything. Get up, then, uh, Yeah. He's pretty big in Atlanta. So I went up. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> He's really big. So I went up. And I did not know that Tyler was, when I said goodnight, everybody, he came out on stage, scared the crap out of me. Big old, you know, Tom Perry is big. I always got I always, I always used to like this. Two things: people with no talent and no um, drive or anything else had the guts. Now you can be a critic of of any work or anyone's work. That's fine. I get it. Everybody's got their own opinion. But I did always used to find it amusing. What's Tyler Perry? Six five? Oh man, I was think like six four. I mean, he's not like he's taller than me, and I'm six three and. I used to always think, I was like, I bet you wouldn't say that to his face. <laughs> I used hey, to what to his face? Anything. It, critics are people that would talk poorly. I just used I to laugh about that to be like, I don't think you'd be so callous with your words if he was within arm's reach of you. Most people are not like that. There used to be this uh, blogger named Perez Hilton. I don't know if you remember. No. <laughs> I have a funny Perez Hilton story, but tell yours. You yeah. do? I've dozen everybody. He used to talk about everybody. He used to put little penises by their mouth. Then you see him, he be, he was a brown noser. You didn't see the pins like on the floor by the door, like on the right hand side. I, I got my check from the city winery, so I have to, I have to put the commission. Don't uh, show your check, commission. please. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Sh no, I'm not gonna show this. Thank you. I was trying to show like commission that everybody gets, um, from from this uh from this check. MM says Tyler Perry is eight foot twelve standing on top of his wallet. <laughs> yeah, that's you know that's that. about that's about right. And um let me see ten, ten, ten. Okay. I think that's uh yeah. Oh and then a five MGO. Oh and then um, uh, I believe it's dollar sign uh Chris R. Denman on Cash App if you're uh cutting off pieces of that. You're check. funny. Last well, oh. send a copy of this to them too, or just no. They don't need a copy of this, do they? Just the check. Uh, I'm not sure. Y'all would say send him a copy. Okay. Yeah, make a copy. Um, so Tyler Perry got on stage. He said hi, and the crowd went crazy. I went crazy. And then he just he made this really, he, he was telling me how funny I was. That was, like, amazing. Tyler Perry saying to me, Sherry, you're so funny, you, you know, really this. And he was like, you know, some of the jokes you told, I got, if you don't mind, I got a couple tags I want to put on the joke. And I was like, Yes. And he gave me some really good stuff to like, it's always a compliment when somebody who is in the business can give you something to make your joke better. Mm. And he did. And it was good. And he was just like, thank you for, for, you know, letting me come see you. And I'm like, thank you, Tyler Perry. <laughs> right. For coming to see me. Mr. Perry, so, would you like to be a special guest at our 200th live episode in St. Louis? And may we put you on the flyer? And may we put you on the flyer when I tell you? Um, yes. And then, because so I tell Kim, and she goes, I'm mad. I should have been on that show with you. And tell Tyler Perry, um, 
Mm-mm. He gonna have to get a new friend. That's <laughs> something crazy, he said. I go, can you just be happy for me that Tyler yeah. Perry showed up at my show? Well, how can he just show up at my show? Well, maybe because you didn't invite him, Kim. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Well, by the way, so I, so he made a really lovely video that I would love to show, and he posted it on his site, the Tyler Perry site. Oh wow! So I sent it to you to play. Does this have music on it? Oh yeah, but you're gonna do it without the. Oh, is it like a big whole thing? It's about a minute long. Um, yeah, but like, can you do the mute? And not yeah, show the music. I can mute it. I can mute it. Do you want to? It's a mute Do you want to be? Do you want to be visible okay. to show it, or do you want me to t- have, take up the full screen? You can, you can take up the full screen. All right, let's check this out. All right, here is the video from Tyler Perry. Sherry, I'm going to mute you just so you know. Yeah. For a minute, or wait, let's let's test this music out. Maybe you might you might need to narrate it. They might be in the room. I don't have to narrate away to you can see it. I but if it, for the people at home, this is going out audio Maybe in the, too. In the closet with the coats on the shelf. If it's not there, all right. The let's test this out. Sherry, can you hear me? Yeah, you're gonna get in trouble, won't you? Yeah, that's why I took the audio off. So let us, if you want to just give us a couple kind words as this, as this okay. plays. So that's Tyler Perry coming out to the song, Who's That Lady? Who's That Lady? Beautiful Lady. So that's him coming out. Crowd went, lost their mind. I lost my mind. He's really tall as you, look how tall he is <laughs> next to me. I'm five, and I don't heal. So I had on gym shoes. I didn't. But everybody gave him a standing O. It was sold out. At the city winery, he's telling me about like I'm really good. I was introducing him to people. That's the security coming through the back. That's me sliding on stage. That's why I come on stage. I dance. I slide. I'm doing some material on the stage. Tyler's laughing. That's Special K from the Ricky Smiley show, um, and he's just going by saying hi to everybody. That's the brat. The brat was hugging me because she loved it so much, and um, it's who's that lady? And Tyler just got me like doing meet and greets and me back on stage. I couldn't believe like he got all this footage of my comedy show. So he posted it on on the um, on his Instagram page. He said, "Okay, that's Diddy. Let me go to Tyler." Oh God. He said, "Before she was an actress or a talk show host, her first love was stand up." And it shows, he said, Sherry, keep making us laugh and bringing us joy at the same time. Um, so he said, y'all was so damn funny. But it was really cool that he came out. It's so nice. Yeah, so nice that he came out to see my comedy show at the City Winery in Atlanta. And so many people what, came out. How much, mm-hmm. how much does he get of that check that you're looking at? I mean, what's the appearance fee on that? Well, he... You know he um, ha- has his own money, so he doesn't need he does. my little. Piece of, <laughs> he doesn't need my little piece of money. Thank gosh. Did you ever? Thank did God. you ever hear like Tommy Davidson or other people tell like old stories about Michael Jackson <laughs> sending them no. invoices or not paying for things? I'm just trying to think of someone who is so, so wealthy that you would just never expect it. Uh, It So I'm picturing Tyler Perry sending you an appearance fee invoice, and that would make my year. That would be the funniest thing I've ever seen. Literally, I would burst into tears. It'd be hilarious. Now, he wouldn't. He's your friend, and that was very kind of him. But boy, what a funny concept. It was, but it was like, yeah, if I got got an invoice for Mr. Perry. But I have to tell you, it was so like, It was just an amazing time. I was so happy. So many people showed up to support me. I can't believe how many people in Atlanta I know. But you know what? Most of the people in Atlanta have been on my show. So, and there were some people that I didn't get to invite just because it, I just, I wouldn't go, I, you know, I'm doing this to make money. Like I have a son, I'm a single mom. So this is all to take care of my house. (laughs) This is like pays for household expenses. 
and everything else. So um, I couldn't invite everybody, but a lot of people showed up to see the comedy show. I was really happy. And my makeup artist did like an amazing job. I just got to send a picture. Freaking, she freaking got me together. So if anybody's in Atlanta and wants to hire her. Oh yeah, let's get her a shout out for sure. Her name is her name is Cherry. And uh, she's at Makeup Madness. And she like did my makeup. So amazing. So there we go. I, I think I sent you all the pictures. Oh, you got of, pictures. Okay. Yeah, I sent you pictures. But it was really fun. So it's really great getting back to stand up. Because that's what I do. That's my first love. A lot of people do not know that I'm a stand-up comic. Isn't that crazy? Is that wild to you? That people don't know that I'm a stand-up comic? Yeah. And, well, I mean, no, I understand. My acting took off before my stand-up took off. Because I didn't like being on the road. A lot of comics, you know, they go on fair. the road and they fan base. And I just didn't like being on the road. I didn't like, it was not a good experience. Um you know, people trying to freaking get in your hotel room because they would always put me on the, fir the first floor. And it was bad back then. People freaking banging on your door and or comics was supposed to take you back to the hotel and they would leave me because they went off with some groupie. So I would be at the bar. The bartender looking at me like, are we going home? And I'm like, no. Yeah. So I didn't like the road experience. So I, I pursued my acting and that took off for me. So people really don't, I didn't create a fan base in my stand-up. So people are just like kind of learning, oh, Sherry does stand-up. Right. And, uh, but it's fun. And it's fun to be acknowledged. And, uh, you know, like I said, I sold out five shows and had, a, and had a ball. One show, I just did improv, Chris. All I did was- When? It was Saturday night at, at 9.30 or 10.30 I went on. And I just let people talk and I answered them and went with the flow. And that was an amazing night. And then one night I did a bunch of new material that I've never done before. And that was great. How'd you feel? I felt great. And the night that Tyler saw me was all my scripted stuff. So I, you know, I always get nervous that I can't do 45 minutes, but I literally have two hours of material. Well, and, and you've been building up too. And, and maybe I, I'm going to sound like a, crazy person here but maybe with your show being so locked in it kind of eliminate how do i say this you're so locked in with the tv show you have to adhere to that schedule so wild it's almost like you can kind of get out and do stand up when you do have a break because you can't get anything else started up so it's, mm -hmm. it's interesting that you're getting out there more because even in la you know you would have trouble having time to do it but it seems like you're able to focus in, you're able to do that. Do you feel like you have enough, um, do you have enough material that you still feel like a normal person? You're not just doing talk show behind the scenes material? No, I'm doing material. I didn't yeah. even get to do any material about behind the scenes at the talk show. I had stories. Oh, that's good. But I just didn't have time to do them. So no, no, this, this is material. That's exciting and because you could go, you could do a whole show on behind the scenes of a talk show. I could, I, you know, I studied Kathy Griffin. She's so good. She likes to tell what goes on behind the scenes at different things and the audience is in rapture in awe. And I, I still have to figure out how to do that, but I didn't have time to talk well. about behind the scenes stuff. So, but it was fun and I'll be doing it in Baltimore at the Baltimore <laughs> Comedy Factory, April. Tell them about 13th. it while I pull these photos in. And I will be doing stand up headlining at Star Dome Comedy Club in Birmingham, Alabama. So come on out. You can get your tickets at SherryShowTV.com. I'm also doing a special, I'll give you the flyer for that. You know the singer Joe? Sure. Um, I'm doing a special Mother's Day show with Joe. Where's that? So that's, that's a big, that's a big deal to do a special Mother's Day show with Joe. He's the one that sings, um, oh my gosh, what is what is Joe saying? Where is that daggone flyer? Show that so they could get some tickets. Um, I can't find the flyer, so I'm not gonna show it. Oh, Lordy. 
Let me ask him to send it. Sorry, everybody. But it's You're such fine. a great show. Yeah. Me and Joe, send me the flyer. Beautiful. For Joe. One, 243 seconds. Don't want to. Oh, he did. He was on the song with uh, Big Pun. Do we don't have want, a. Don't want to be a player. Yeah. To purchase a ticket. Yeah, uh, Joe was the one who sings with uh with the uh, what was Big his pun. name? He passed away. Big pun. Big. I don't want to be a player no more. Da 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 da. I know you're curious, but that was on my uh, varsity basketball warm up CD. That song. It was. It was. That was a great song. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing it with him May 11. That's May exciting. 11th, Day. Do you know where? I'm doing a Mother's Day show. Yes, it's in. It's in somewhere in New York, outside of New York. Okay. Well, stay tuned. We'll find that. I'm going to show you some other pictures while you're at uh, Joe Sings. I want to know. Thank you, M.M. Uh, yeah. I want to know what turns you on. I want to know. I want to know. I karaoke. <laughs> so please don't have a little grace because I can't sing. So I can be all that. There it is. Yep. I want to know. I want to know what makes you cry so I can be the only one. That's from People Magazine. I mean, it's a people. Look at you. Local, and, gal, uh, local gal makes big. And <laughs> that's from People Magazine. That was a different, I, you know, doing stand up, you got to wear different outfits every day. So uh, that's Tamar Braxton. <laughs> Love, war, and divorce. It's Tamar. Let Look me tell you. you, that's Makeup Madness by Cherry. When I tell you, she did my makeup so fly. Her name is Makeup Madness by Cherry, like cherry that you eat on Instagram, at Makeup Madness by Cherry. She's amazing. She has her own makeup school. She teaches special effects makeup. She teaches you how to do your own makeup. And she's amazing. So she did my face. And, and, and I ain't going to take nothing less than, girl, you look good. Because I know I did. <laughs> I know I did. And, that's uh, that some serious nice. work. That's great. Uh, and it was lighting, too. That's a ring light. That's why I came out so light. That's a ring light that mm. they had in front. Of me. But uh, Theo Barrett, my hairstylist, fixed my hair. The made number, it all Janet. In the live chat, number one, Vanessa says the makeup was on fleek. Riri Jordan says, look at Sherry looking 25. Miss Ann says, you're looking pretty. I, I mean, really. I'll, I'll do 35 or 40. Okay. 25, I can't. Gosh, 40's coming up. That. June, Sherry, I'm going to be 40. Who's going to be 40? Me. June. You're going to be 40? 0. 4 oh, zero. that's really cool. Is it? Get out, get out of the pesky, wesky 30. Get mature. That's Candy Burris and her daughter Riley. Candy is from the group Escape. Did Ru what you feel like I Riley? Need from you is understanding. Now you were worried that Riley wouldn't connect with your humor. How do you feel that you connected with the youth? I told because Riley is this. Riley is in undergrad school. She wants to be a lawyer, but she wanted to come out with Candy to see me. And I told, is that my lace? Golly. And I told Candy, I said, I don't talk about nothing Riley gonna, gonna like relate to. And she's like, no, Riley really likes you. And I said, well, tell her she coming to the auntie show because this is an auntie show for your mama. And Riley showed up and she really liked my stuff. So that's her, that was my outfit I was trying not to trip on all night. Willie Sinclair III from the Milwaukee Sinclairs picked that green outfit out. So it was bright, joyful, I got to jump around. I'm very physical on stage. I saw you run out like you were in, in a, a Olympics oh, I run out. I jump up and down. I just, because I, just, I like, I'm joy, joy, joy. Uh, now, this is uh, Judy and Debrat. Debrat and her wife, Judy. Debrat's a rapper, and Judy is a mega, mega entrepreneur, has an empire of 
kaleidoscope hair products that bring back your edges. We should have we should have Judy on our show. Oh, I'm gonna ask her. She's good. And then that was also Tyler. You see how tall Tyler Perry is? I just wanted you to go back for a minute. Oh yeah. yeah. You see how tall Tyler Perry is? Like we're all short. Me, Judy, and Debrat. Okay, at five one, maybe five three. <laughs> Tyler Perry's got to be a foot and a half taller than us. Yeah, and he's wearing oh, he's wearing chucks. Those are flat. There's no. There's nothing Just, to yeah. that's a, might as well be bare feet. That's it. And then all the way at the end is Rashawn McDonald. Um, he used to be Steve Harvey's business partner, but now he's my brand manager. So he was there with me. Very nice. That looks so like that a was good cool. time. We had a great time. And then um, this was over the course of four nights. And then the other picture was Star Jones. She came out with like. Oh my gosh. This one? Star yeah, Jones. Yeah, that is Star. Yeah, so that's Star next to me. And next to Star, Star brought like 10 people. And then next to Star is um, Nico Anon. He's in that show, P Valley. And on the other side, oh, wait, I forgot to send you Laureen. On the other side, oh, let me send you this one, Chris. Yeah, send, send whatever you have. This is the uh, fun see. stuff. I love that you get to connect with these people and you're you're out there doing stand up at the same time. Yeah, I love it. It's tiring, but I love it. Who is this? Okay. Chris Denman. Hold on, hold the line. Hold the line, as Jennifer Hudson likes to say. And I pick up everything that she says. I love it. Uh one more. So uh no, that's who is this? Jeez Louise, who is that? I sent you the wrong damn picture. Uh oh. Oh, no, it's not Patrick. It's Dan. Okay, oh, now wow. one, I'm if sending pictures this... from. Which one? The oh, one that just came Horatio... in. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Am I allowed to say who's. Who is it? I don't have a glass. This looks like a game show, but I don't think this would be recently based on who's in the photo. Well, who is it? Does it look like somebody you know? <laughs> Yeah, no, I know exactly who it is. Are you talking about the game show what? photos? Yeah, who is it? It's your girl from, um, she was just on a TV show with Kim. It's, uh, she's from 30 Rock, uh, Horatio Sands, Michael Che, maybe, uh, I don't think, I I recognize the Oh, cop. she's on 30 Rock, Jane Krakowski. Yeah, Jane, but then the dude, uh, <laughs> he's not too far. all the way to the left. The dude? Yeah. Chris White guy. Chris D'Elia. Oh, that's Chris D'Elia. Yeah, he's not. Uh, people aren't too into him. Isn't there some kind of scandal or something? I, I, I would just have to say, allegedly, there's um, there's been a lot of folks that aren't too excited about his communication with some younger ladies or something. Okay, well, allegedly. then we shall not. We yeah. sh allegedly, we're not going to show the Chris D'Elia picture. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. I, don't, I don't know. The um, that was a game that. show that I did. But, you know, uh, so if you put that picture back up with Star Jones, because there were two other people oh, sure. I didn't know. Um, and then you can pull the other pictures up. But Star Jones came, she brought like 10 people from her show Divorce Court. And that was really cool. It was, she was celebrating her birthday. Nico Anon, uh, who I just love, we're, we're good friends. He is in P Valley. And then all the way at the end is the stars of Married to Real Estate. Egypt Sherrod and her husband, Mike Jackson. They're on HGTV and they're really big. And um, they almost won the Barbie challenge with HGTV. So they like all came out. These people came out on different days. And there was some more people that came out that I didn't shout out. I didn't know they were there. And they sent me, they sent me a, a text after they left saying you were great. Wow. So, um, you know, it was just nice to have Folks come out and support and say, I'm here. Yeah. Because I like you. So, um, and then my special guest, I bring on an, uh, a lady who's very seasoned. Her name is Lorene Harmon, and she lives in Georgia. And she mm. is 99 years old. I brought her on my very first day when I premiered my Sherry show. Yeah, I remember her. And, yes. And Lorene came with her family. Wow. She's 99 years old. 99. And when I tell you, Chris, like, she has my heart. She's, she, I saw her, she's something on TikTok called your favorite nanny. Uh, and she was in Home Depot with her granddaughter looking for the D. I'm sorry. And that's what she kept saying. I'm looking for some D. 
And it was so funny to me. Yeah. I brought on the show. She asked Steve Harvey if he could be her sugar daddy. Hmm. And so she came to my show. That's Lorraine Harmon. She will be 100 years old in October. Wow. And when I tell you she has the spirit of joy all over her, and she's just, you can't meet her without bursting into tears. She's so sweet. And so she hugged me and she didn't want to let me go. And they kept saying, Grandma, we got to go. And she was like, no. And <laughs> she made me cry. I cry because I love her so much. She's such a gentle, just woman of faith. And just, there's nobody that she meets that she does not show love to. Those are the kind of people we need more of in the world. Right. That was her, that was her grand, granddaughter and her son. And she just wouldn't let me go. But she was such a rock star because she took like 50 pictures in the club and then she took a ton of pictures outside the club because people r remembered her from my show. So she felt like a rock star. Yeah. And uh, it was amazing in Atlanta and it's going to be amazing in Baltimore at the Baltimore Comedy Factory, April 12th and 13th. It's going to be amazing at the Star Dome Comedy Club, April 5th and 6th in Birmingham, mm -hmm. Alabama. And you can go to the amazing site of SherryShowTV.com. <laughs> uh, and then May 11th, oh, I'm at the land. Oh, I know where it is. May, where is that dangle picture? May 11th, I'm at the Landmark Theater with Joe. I want to know what turns you on, Joe. <laughs> and you can get tickets, I guess, from the Landmark Theater because I haven't let my site know. So you can't get them from me. But at the Landmark Theater, May 11th with Joe. And then I'm at a casino somewhere. I'll let you know that later. But I am okay. at a casino. We'll, we'll make sure to go to SherryShowTV.com to check out the comedy dates while you're at it. Uh, just a reminder, no. follow Sherry on Instagram at Sherry E. Shepard and Kim Whitley as well. And Two Funny Mamas. Follow the Two Funny Mamas account on Instagram. Sherry, uh, you're on here. You're solo. I know Kim, Kim likes to play games and say that I'm... Uh, I'm I try and suppress black businesses and, uh, and things like that. But, uh, our friend Sita Lewis from uh -huh. uh, miracle buttercream, always kind, you know, if you go use TFM 15 at checkout, um, you should be getting a package if you haven't, like in the next day or two, I got one here and shout out to Sita because it is, uh, it made me popular around these parts. She sent the new, Purple Crush buttercream. She's got uh, all kinds of great oh. stuff going on. Yes. Oh, well, that's great. Well, and you'll have a bunch yourself. You can take some on the road. But get this. CETA makes it possible each and every week for, uh, for us to showcase black businesses, right? She does. And we're so grateful well, that here. CETA does this for her because we like to spotlight black businesses. And CETA also it becomes their mentor. Um, she does. We're, yeah, we get to connect them. So this week we've got Kristen Stowers. She has uh, Mood Forever Apparel, and I'll let her tell you a little bit about it. But uh, I've got a video. Check out some photos real quick. Uh, she sent oh, Sherry and Kim some stuff. She's. A, I wanted to also show she's a Delta. I know we've got a lot of Deltas that tune in. But, nice. Uh, Kristen's based in St. Louis. Family woman working hard and uh and really you all should check this out mood forever apparel uh she's got t-shirts hoodies for guys mm -hmm. and gals and i'm going to play a video here in just a second but uh yeah exciting mm -hmm. to be able to showcase another small business Kristen's a, a wonderful person and here you go sherry check this out okay hi i'm Kristen stowers the owner and creator of mood forever apparel Move Forever Apparel aims to promote self-affirming behavior. Let's try this. Let's try this one more time. Let's. let's... What happened? I saw it. No, oh, I'm I'm out of control over here. All right, here you go, Sherry. Oh, no. Hi, I'm Kristen Stowers, the owner and creator of Mood Forever Apparel. Mood Forever Apparel aims to promote self-affirming behavior and positive mental health through our clothing line. My mission is to inspire individuals like myself to prioritize mental well-being, enhance confidence, and boost self-esteem. As a wife and mother of three wonderful children, I often prioritized my family's needs over my own. However, I realized the importance of loving and caring for myself first to effectively care for others. In 2021, I made the decision to prioritize self-care starting with how I presented myself to the world. This led to the creation of Mood Forever Apparel featuring hoodies, sweatshirts, 
crop tops, and more, all designed to help you feel your best. Mm -hmm. While the brand is founded by a woman, our apparel is unisex, welcoming everyone to be a part of this movement. Visit MoodForever.com to explore our collection and connect with us on Instagram at Mood Forever Apparel. Remember, it's more than apparel, it's a mood. Is that the sweatshirt that she sent me? It is, yes, and we have such wild schedules. We need to, maybe we'll show those another time, but yeah, you've got a really, I, I'll say it, you've got a cute sweatshirt. Can I? Can you hold on? I think I got it. I would love that. I would love to. Let's okay, showcase it. Yeah, hold absolutely. So again, minute. you can go to <laughs> Mood Forever. I've got the uh, the link in the comments here. I'll drop that in right now on the live stream. If you all uh, enjoy that and you like that positive messaging, make sure you support Kristen and uh, and her business. And thank you to Cita Lewis for making that possible too. I'm putting this in the live chat now. It'll be in the description. But yeah, if you all want some cool t-shirts, hoodies, men and women, uh, Kristen Sowers uh, does that. I know she has a full-time job. I know uh, she has t she's younger and she has a, kid, a daughter playing college basketball and a daughter playing um, varsity basketball. And then uh, her and her husband have a younger son as well. So show Kristen some love. And uh, again, here's the men's, one of the men's hoodies. Kind of nice when you can be your own model, too. Shout out to Kristen. <laughs> Rocking those out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like her and her that's husband, so cool. that's not her husband in the photo, but she looks great in the, uh, Look in the apparel. Look at this. So. this. I wear this. I didn't know this was her. Okay, this is a sweatshirt. It says settle for more. It's a cropped I love it. Sweatshirt. I'm gonna put it on real quick. Try it on. I'm, Mood forever. <laughs> this I'm is how we do it, people. Sweatshirt. I love, 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 love this sweatshirt. And I'm putting it on right now. Trying not to let my wig come off. It is so cute. Hold on. And all you have to I do, go check it out. Leave her a comment on Instagram. Uh, she's you know, again, hardworking mother of three, her, her and her husband have a great family. They're, uh, it's, it's like everybody that we see here, you know, you work hard, you get to do some fun stuff and Sherry, Kim, and obviously Miracle Buttercream see to make this possible. Look, Look at, at Sherry Shepard. That's mood-forever.com in the live chat. And uh, it's a and if crop you, time. you see his crop, this is I my do. girl Spanx I, right here. I wouldn't, I wait, wouldn't have wait. thought you ordered that of Sherry. When I saw there were crop tops available, I knew, I knew what you were getting immediately. I wish Kim was here. You know, I wanted a crop top. I do the crop top. I don't even, I don't even care that my belly is sticking out. Oh, you look hood. great in it. But it's so cute. Look at this crop, crop, crop. <laughs> Settle for more by mood forever. Forever, forever. That's right. Mood forever apparel. Crop, Check crop, it out. Crop, crop, crop. Look at that. Dance. <laughs> Sherry <laughs> Shepard going above and beyond. She's a dancing machine. Oh, baby. Groove me, baby. Love it. Automatic, sexuality. She's another dun dun. What's it? Dun 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 dun. This is the that part of the my show. Mood. My mood walk. She's settling for more people. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. I really like this. I, but they they make other ones. Everything is not a crop top. Everything is not a crop top. Yeah. But I like, I like crop tops. Yeah. Cause I'd be hot flashing on my belly button. Poor Kim wasn't able to join us today. Maybe she'll show it next week. She has had her T-shirt sitting by her little computer room <laughs> for like three months. She's like, "Is Mood Forever going to be the?" the business this week but we got it so shout out to Kristen and support mood forever go on instagram check her out and uh if you get a chance purchase there it is show her some love settle for more settle for more mm -hmm. and it's so cute and it's like the fleece inside but i wear it all the time i love wearing the sweatshirt so thank you thank you thank i'm gonna order some more tonight
Look at that. Sherry's supporting. You can too. Again, shout out to Miracle Buttercream <laughs> for making it possible and uh, sh- find yes. them forever on Instagram and their website. Uh, Sherry, what's we've told. What's the website? Uh, mood-forever.com. It's in the live chat and it's in the uh, description as well if you're just tuning in. Okay, because I'm going to get some more. I have to get off the phone very soon because I got to go spend time with my family. That's because fair. Tomorrow I, get on a, I get on a plane. And I leave my son until the 14th of April. He, he's not happy. I'm not happy. So I have to go spend some time with my son. I think that's so very So I don't fair. know if there's, if there's any questions or anything. Yeah, let's hit a couple in the live chat. And then uh, myself and uh, Deja will get ready for Tighten Up Tuesday with B-flat. Uh, oh, you got to do – oh, after you finish with me, you got to do Tighten Up Tuesday? Oh, yeah. Dang. So if you all are looking for something to watch tonight, you can check out B-flat right here. On the channel. Uh, MM loves the sweater. Learning to get her. God bless them. Uh, sorry, I don't remember that was through. PR Jade says you look cute. Veronica says you look cute. Kenyon Washington says cute. Argelis is cute. Makila's enjoying it. Everybody being very supportive of uh, our entrepreneur this week for support of black business. Yeah. For Kristen Stowers. Uh, Lana yes. J says great black business tonight. Thank you, Lana J. Love that. Show her some love. If you can't buy something... There were a follow on Instagram. That's very cool of you all, how you always support so well. Um, Jupiter no. Jules says, Sherry and B-flat dance battle. That's that's fair. Oh, that's hysterical. I'm not yeah. going up against B-flat. You don't want to do Oh, uh, I don't want that smoke. I do not want that smoke. You've B-flat. probably talked about it a ton, Sherry, but I do have a photo, and there is a relevant question from Jesse. Sherry, how amazing is Lenny Kravitz? <laughs> First of all, let me, let me, did I send you a picture of me in this dress standing next to Lenny? Did I? This one? Did I? Yes. Look, for, first of all, shout out. I am not that small. Shout out to Willie Sinclair III from the Milwaukee Sinclairs. That dress was everything. Can I tell you? It had the right amount of slit, the cute neon yellow or green shoes it looked like i had hips and a booty and look at lenny look at lenny's hips and a, and and booty and legs and chesticles showing and i looked like i was so in love and i was i was so turned on that dag on lenny kravitz smells like like outdoors like woodsy like you know like you have you ever been somewhere and you go outside and you just take a deep breath and it felt it smells so fresh and clean outside. That's what Lenny Kravitz smelled like. And um, <laughs> didn't make no daggone sense. Huh. It really, really did not. He was, and his hair was so soft. He kissed me twice, you know. It was so soft. Oh. Well, I mean, the, twice on what we saw on camera, but uh, if you want to spill the details of what happened. Which I do not. Scenes. Oh. No, I don't believe in that. Okay. Let me tell you something. A little something to hide. I, I, I put it out there for Lenny. I said, look, Lenny, if you want to come by, <laughs> my dress. But I ain't going to be telling nothing. That's how people get in trouble. You be telling Key, everything. Keys under the I'm, mat. Thank you. And I'm not doing Snapchat and all of that stuff. Here come Lenny, y'all. See his car pulling up? No. No. We grown. He know where I live. Perfect. Well, we look forward to that and, uh, and Sherry's uh, future trysts with the great Lenny Kravitz. Uh, Odessa, shout me out. I'm Sherry's favorite fan. There you go. Odessa, you've been shouted out. That's so sweet. Odessa, thank you so much. I'm going to say the last time I'm going to be at the Landmark Theater in, I think, Connecticut. I think Connecticut. Where is, hold on. Don't even let me, if I'm going to promote this, let me find out what the heck I'm going to be. You know for sure, while you're looking that up, April 5th and 6th, Stardome in Hoover, Alabama. April 12th and 13th, Baltimore Comedy Factory in Baltimore, Maryland. For any and all tickets that Sherry's on the road for, whether we say it here tonight or not, go to SherryShowTV.com. You can actually scan it. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can scan the uh, QR code at the bottom left of that uh, flyer that we've got popped up, and uh, we can make that happen. So make sure you go and check wait, it out. And wait, I just sent, you, just sent you a flyer. Oh. For the May 11th show. It's one night only. It's at the Landmark Theater. I still didn't find out where the daggone theater was. 
What city is this? Landmark Theater. <laughs> I'll find out. Let me get this loaded. Hang on. Oh, it's in Syracuse. I was like, where in the world is this box office? But I sent it to you. I think Sherry Shepard, number one in Syracuse. No, okay, there we go. I've you can go it. to Live Nation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to show this flyer because my picture ain't on there. Mm-mm. You know, B-flat B flat has almost banned me from reading flyers on her show because uh, I find, Why? I find um, the flyers to be hilarious. You know, when there's like 50 pages worth of writing on it. And <laughs> oh, that's funny. Stop by for tickets at Cheryl, third seat at the beauty shop. <laughs> Text her or knock on the window three times, but not too loud. And it's all knock the flyer. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me yeah so this is it this is the flyer we are in Sir. is landmark theater in syracuse well did we just say that do we let's find out is that a, okay find out for me so may 11th joe and i are teaming up and we are doing a mother's day show one night only it's at eight o'clock uh the show is at eight o'clock so it's early so you can still get back home and i'm doing stand up and joe is going to be singing. I want to know what turns you on. Hey Siri. 362 uh, Selena, have, Selena what Street, are the Syracuse. Songs that Joe sings. Okay. So yeah, Syracuse sep, Ooh, uh, You know what else Joe sings? Uh all the things your man won't do. No, that's not. The, I'll do Okay, wait. I'll do it for you. Lele's I wanna do all so Joe, the <laughs> so Joe's got the songs. Here's his his most yeah, popular won't. songs on Spotify. You ready? It's not gonna sound like that when Joe sings it. Just right. to let you know. Um, uh, what's another one? Uh, I wanna more, know more, faded pictures. Wanna, faded pictures on a broken glass. When the man, the man, and then there was more and more. More, more, more and more. Okay, I, you know, I don't ever want Joe to see this because he going to put me off the tour. So I'm going to just stop. But that's all the songs that Joe sings. They're not going to sound like what I did. That's karaoke. Drunk karaoke. But May 11th. <laughs> Deja, Deja was dancing along to your... <laughs> she was dancing along to my voice. She was dancing along. Yeah. That's Deja. <laughs> One of the engineers at Nick Coast Media who helps uh, out Chris. Shout uh, out to and Deja. she's so amazing. Working with Deja for like four years. Has it been four years? No, Deja's new. Key Key is Key. uh has a full time job now. Key brought Deja in. Is that what she told you? Is that what she told you, Chris? Right. <laughs> she, Key has moved to the moon, allegedly. Uh <laughs> no, Deja's um she's been helping out about a year, maybe. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we love that. And we love everybody for tuning in. We love you for supporting Mood Forever Apparel. If you want to go support our black oh, business for this week. Oh. More, and more and more. More, more. More and more. Oh, my gosh. More, more. Settle for more. More and more. How I propose. More, more. Settle for more. The crop top. <laughs> love it. I love Deja. All right. So, Sherry, you have a, a big week ahead of you. If you all haven't yet, go check out Sherry's dates at SherryShowTV.com. Follow Kim on Instagram. Kim's got some fun stuff coming up, and she, she can use all the love and support from you possible. If, uh, yes, she can. We love you, Kim Whitley. We miss you. Um, we, we really, really miss you. And we'll today see you soon. Yeah. We miss that fun and we'll see. Oh, and tune in to my show, Sherry show tomorrow because Niecy Nash, she just landed. Her plane just landed. Uh, I think she's going to come over and see me, but Niecy Nash is going to be my guest. Got to get her on Sherry here. Show. We should. We she's should, from where? Niecy Where's she from? Niecy's from uh, St. Louis. There you go. Yeah, as was, St. Louis. as was obvious at our live show here when half the crowd was her family. 
That's right. I know. <laughs> Adisi's family is from St. Louis, and she's coming on tomorrow. And um, yeah, and we got some really, we got some great people coming on the show. And I think that's it. And then I leave. I'll be doing Celebrity Family Feud with my co-stars, John Murray, Marco Glorious, um, Dan Fitzpatrick, who's a producer, and Theo, who does my hair. And Rodney John, who does my makeup, is upset with Theo because he feels like he could do better on Family Feud, but I can only pick one of them. So oh, Theo wow. says he watches it religiously. So he won out. And, and so Rodney's going to go and, and be upset. <laughs> it's hmm. an audience. But, um, Controversy. Yeah, so Rodney man. John. Rodney John is downstairs now eating food because I made steaks, <laughs> made steaks, uh, ribeye steaks, cabbage with sausage. You know I didn't make that. I got somebody down there cooking. Uh, steak, <laughs> uh, steaks, cabbage, cabbage with sausage, uh, baked chicken, asparagus. So I got to go eat as well. But um, yeah. Well, Kim, you know love what? You. We missed. You've been great, Sherry. Follow Sherry on Instagram. Follow Two Funny Mamas on Instagram. Follow me, Ensa Denman, on Instagram. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back uh, very soon. See you next week. Bye, Sherry. See you next week. Bye bye, everybody. God bless you. Awesome. Mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 I,